Just go to a favourite spot of mine for a bit of perch fishing. No ming trapping as of yet, just I'm waiting on a few traps to arrive and we'll get back into it. So I'll just come down here, it's a nice, easy, accessible spot. Temple House, if anyone knows it in Sligo. It's close enough to the road, car park's only about 100 metres away. You can come over and fish the bank here pretty much without uh, too many snags. So this is probably my favourite location where I am, just here beside an alder tree and I was about I about five, six metres from the bank here and a swim it of maybe uh, 10 metres. It's usually my most productive spot for pulling out a few perch. And I'm going to be using as a standard seven foot rod, dendro being a worm, size 10 hook, and uh, three bits of AAA lead shot just to get it down. Where I'm going to be fishing out from the bank here, not much of a flow, so the weight will take it down nice and quick. It just seems to be the most productive spot for me, it's just out here. So we'll see what we can catch. Well, he's no monster, but he's a fish on the bank nonetheless. We can get him unhooked and uh, get him back in the water. Second fish on the bank. Ooh, steady up. Very nice. Get him back in the water. He's not too happy about being caught. Another perch on the bank. This guy a little bit bigger, thankfully. I've had. Three misses so far, so I'm putting it down to being the roach. I've actually moved down from my regular perch swim, maybe about 10 metres here to the corner because there's plenty of roach activity just out here. And uh, it's just that they were actually hooked the roach. And the sun comes out, the roach activity seems to stop again. So uh, that little perch took the bait. So we got this guy unhooked. Not massive, but they put up a great little fight. So I love perch, lovely colours on them. Get him back in. Right guys, so we finished up that last session. Battery anyway went dead in my phone. So I've no more recording from that area and didn't catch anything anyway after that. One more kind of hard take, but uh, I didn't land what it was, I didn't see what it was. So I left there, I went to got a cup of coffee, stuck the phone on charge in the car, I drove down to one of my favourite rivers. Now I haven't fished this river. I say favourite river, I mean favourite river for just walking or for trapping. Way on down that way, probably about seven, eight hundred meters. Um, I've caught a lot of mink, and you would have seen some of them mink in my other videos. Oh, but I've done come back up this way. I don't trap up this way. It's just too wild to get into. Like you can see how wild that is. Like it's some of the the reeds and the nettles in there are like six or seven foot. It's you wouldn't see a giraffe standing up in there. It's really hard to get into. But this river does have these lovely pools in some of the corners fish that's in this river system here that I know that I've seen is pike, perch, roach and brown trout, believe it or not. But I haven't fished this particular pool or this, this stretch of river going back down the way for 20 years. 20 years, I can't believe it. So, taking a chance this evening, the weather's in my favour. The ground, believe it or not, is solid underfoot coming in. I've been trapping this river since I'm 16. Since I was 16. I'm 41 now. I've trapped it through all the different seasons so I'm conf confident enough in coming through all this vegetation there's nothing in here that I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't already know that's there like different uh, just drains of varying widths um, but I don't recommend that you go doing this type of thing on ground that you don't know these corners are particularly deep um, so I'm hoping with the water being low at the minute that's going to concentrate the fish back into this they've already as soon as I got here there was a fish jumped just back out here and I was flattening a couple of the, the briars here in front of me to try and get a rod set up and I'm presuming it's a roach um, I don't see any well, there is a few flies on the water down here um, so I'm hoping that a worm fished out there same setup, dendro being a worm 7 foot rod and size 10 hook hoping that I might pull something out here and um, we'll see how we go regrettably we haven't caught anything the hook got cleaned on me there about 10 minutes ago. I have a suspicion it's a really, really small fish because they're not even registering a proper bite on the rod. So I threw in a second worm and put the cast a bit more central. And again, I've had nothing at the rod and it's still out there. So a little bit of remaining daylight that I have here. I said I'd try and get uh, just a small bit of footage of where I'm presuming a roach there are feeding off the surface there. Before I lose daylight, I'm going to have to pack up now in the next five, ten minutes. Uh, it's quite a trek coming in. I have no head towards with me, so I don't want to be having to feel my way out of this place. 
but I'll definitely be coming back here and I think the next time I'll get set up kind of up on that bank over there there's a drain that comes in there where that grass is current is flowing this way and around to the left the fish are starting to come a bit more active but nothing seems to be bothering with the rod so I think maybe a change of tactic might be needed the next time I don't know how weedy it is in the bottom there in the corner out in the centre like I said it's a long long time since I fished this so um, maybe change a bait or maybe change it to a float for the next time or maybe just go one and one see how it goes but overall not a bad day not quite what I was expecting and what did I get? I think I got three perch and a roach and then I said I'd come back down here and try this out so I think the next time I'll come straight down to here give it a bit more time see how we fare out there's nobody else fishes this river that's very hard to see there well, some of the fish were coming clean out of the water there a while ago. It's typical when you turn on the camera, then nothing happens. Well, there's one that performed for the camera. Right, folks, I guess we'll have to leave it at that. Until next time.